Hello, here's a quick demo on fave icons. So to just find, find a free icon image, I just searched for Creative Commons animal icons. So Creative Commons is a license that um, basically means it's free for anyone to use. So it's a good way to look for images. Um, instead of animal, I could say like cafe, or there's some nice cafe icons, or I don't know, Italian. Um, Italia, um, or I don't know, what else? Uh, donut, there's a couple donut projects. Um, yeah, so as you can see, there's tons of free icons in the world. Let's, uh, I'm gonna just do animal because I saw a badger icon that is exciting. So I'm going to, where to go, where to go, badger, badger. Um, okay, I'll do the boar. So this boar icon looks like it'll work pretty good. Oh, it's an SVG though. I, it's um, easier to do this with um, PNG. Um, I'm just going to find a PNG to make our lives easier. Oh, what the heck, we'll just stick with, well, I'll do this crow because it looks like it's on um, a background. Oh, it's one, two, three. Um, RF, which is, um, they pay for icons. Okay, I'm taking way too much time. I'll just pick something. Dog icon, sure, great. Okay, so Visual Farm looks like it has a bunch of free icons. Um, I'm just gonna right click on this and save image as, and then I'll just stick it on my desktop. Um, so, I'm going to go to my desktop. If I needed to um, trim this, oh, it is an SVG. Okay, so let's just open it in, I'll open it in um, Illustrator and then I can save it out as a PNG. I don't think you can upload SVGs, let's see. Uh, the, the site that you wanna to go to is Fave Icon Generator. And let's see what it says here. Um, okay, you can do PNG to ICO, JPG, or GIF. So um, I will open this in Illustrator. I'm gonna pause while Illustrator takes forever. Okay, come on Illustrator, I'm pausing. Illustrator is making it impossible for me to pause. Well, my machine is frozen. <laughs> All right, so in Illustrator, here is my dog, and I'm just going to say export as, then I'll just pick PNG, and then export it. So now I have a really nice tight, you want it to be like as tight as possible. So if you get an image that has like some space around it, make sure you crop it. Um, transparent background sounds great to me. And um, yeah, screen resolution, okay. So now my dog's about to start barking. We're gonna go to Fave Icon Generator. So I've used this one forever. It's faveicon-generator.org. Um, you choose your file, choose, okay, and then desktop, come on, there's my PNG, I say open, then for here, you just, I just want the general old one, the 16 by 16. If you do this one, it'll generate a bunch of different files, um, they look fantastic on all these devices. There's multiple links and multiple files. Um, that's great if you want to do that. Um, I just want the one. And I'm going to maintain dimensions and I'm going to um, not include it in the Fave Icon public library. And then that's it. I just click on create Fave Icon. That then will take me to a page where I can download the file, so it's a faveicon.ico file. Um, there it is, so I'm gonna click download. 
that's going to go into my downloads folder. So, and then I need these two links. So I'm going to copy these and then I'm going to go to my, um, my page. So you'll have to do this for every page, but I'll do index first. So we'll just pretend these weren't here. Um, you want to paste them in here and then see how it says slash fave icon. You want to get rid of that slash. The way that we're hosting things on GitHub, you definitely don't want that slash in there. Um, so we have one link for shortcut icon and one link for icon. They're just for different browsers. Um, so hit save there. And then we want to put our fave icon in our main directory. So let me get my downloads and then get my directory of my files. So sites. So yours will be, you know, documents, GitHub, probably, um, and then your repository. Um, okay, so here is the main directory. So here's my index.html file. Um, I don't want to put it in images. I want it to be right in um, the main directory. So if I go to downloads, there's my fav icon. And I just drag it in there. And so now if I view this in a browser, it should show me my new dog icon. If I do it, you might have to do a command shift R to do a hard refresh. And there's my awesome doggy icon. All right. Thanks.